Hi. Uh, Tuesday, I haven't painted for three days. Uh, this is from Andy Byrne. I don't know if you can see. Oops. Oops. This is a photograph of North Beach Arklo in Southern Ireland. And you can see it's a, a lone house, probably deserted, on this, this fierce shore. Uh, I've never been there myself, but Andy is the brother of uh, Patrick, who, who's a friend, a pretty old friend of my, my wife's. Patrick's a chef and my wife worked for him as a, an assistant some years ago before she retired. Patrick is now in Thailand, but works in Germany, London, and uh, lovely that his brother has allowed me to have a go at this. There are other paint, uh, photographs, I'm encouraging him to, to uh, send them to me, or at least put them on Facebook where I can take them off. So, um, where to start? Well, I've, I've done this rough drawing, it's got a bit smudged because my, my, my graphite stick is so lightly applied that it's easy to, to smudge, but it'll come off with a bit of, as I do the water. So now, um, doing buildings like this, in wet in wet, is uh, going to be fraught with problems, I dare say. I don't know why my brush is a bit dirty, but... It is. I've used my usual palette of lemon yellow, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson light, red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paint grey, and burnt sienna. So I'll just let that uh, soak in a little bit. Let's just take a little bit of the water off. And I'll probably paint the building before I paint anything else. But I want to get the sky, the sky in. And we've got this very rough sea, but I can't paint that. I'm going to have to do something a bit different. Put some more rocks in and do, do, try and do some broken water. Uh, so we'll see how we go. Now the sky was very overcast, but there was a bit of, there is a bit of blue, blue in it. So I'll, I'll work it as close as I can without trying to do a slavish co copy of it. So we just put some of this in. We'll be up here maybe. And then we've just got this. I'll use a bit of burnt sienna, I think, in, in that with a bit of Payne's grey, a bit of ultramarine. Oh no, I want to put some uh, warm in the sky first. So I'll, I'll use a bit of bit of sienna, a bit of warm sienna. A bit, bit muddy, but and superimpose the cloud over there. So blue and grey, a bit of burnt sienna, mix up a, a nice overcast sort of sky. Give it slightly on the blue side I think, so we just... Uh, little bits in here. And nice dark overcast, a bit of red in there I think. So we've got this heavy sky coming across here. Okay, so that seems to be something heavy there. Uh, it's coming from there I would think. Right, okay, we'll uh, let that dry in a little bit. I want to put in the house now. <coughs> so I'll use my my inch brush, I can find it. Now the, the front of this house is white, but I don't want to paint it exactly white, so it's a bit of a dirty sort of white, so... So 
something like that. And it's got a yellow, raw sienna -y, yellow -y wall, flank wall there. So we'll do that bit of lemon yellow in there. And once that's in, we can concentrate on doing more of it. So there's a window there. I'll have to reclip my paper in a minute. Now the roof looks, I can't really see a colour, but I'll do it. a bit of burnt sienna and a bit of grey on there. <clears throat> I don't want straight lines, but they're difficult to do otherwise, to, to, to make them not straight. But. And I'll put dark ridge tile on the top there. With the, try and preserve a bit of light between the two. Right, and then we've got a bit of shadow. It's like there's a paint, of sort of a board there. It's probably a bit hard, but... Well, I'll just reclip the paper. So I'll keep it flat. <clears throat> I'm just going to soften the edge of this straight line here. Don't, don't like that. Just too, too obvious there. Okay, and uh, I'll let that dry off because there's a, a shadow underneath, a slight shadow, but it's a little bit wet there, so I'm going to just start to put in some colour in the cliffs. So we'll do the, the distant cliff. I'll make that sort of We're going to be a picture. Oh, there's a bit of little rocks in. Yeah, I suppose we could. We should probably have a bit of sienna in. Right, now we're going with slightly uh, yellow or yellow. There's some fields at the top here. I'm guessing a lot of this, I can't really see, see that. a bit of green there. Something like that. I 
and we'll have to put in some trees. And we've got some darker clouds, uh, trees on the top of this cliff. Right, okay. Been for the bike ride with the old men this morning. The old men riding badly on bike bikes. Good fun. And then we'll put a bit of a bit of grassy stuff. And more trees on the top there. Warmer as we're coming into the picture. Just add some detail here, going to nothing really. I'm inventing this, I can't see it from the the light is shining on the picture itself. But anyway, we'll uh, put it. Now we, we do. We put some beaches sticking out from here. Uh, bit of umber, bit of blue. Got a sort of wall coming down there, and I'll put in some foliage in here. Dark and all here. And we've got all this greeny sort of stuff in here. So we've got a bit of road blue there. Right.
that chimney is yellow, so if I remember to put it in, let's get some. Right now we've got this uh, some sand. Well, it looks like sand. So I'll put that general shape in there, and then we've got some nice darks. the way they actually go. Plenty of colour in this foreground area. And then lots of rocks and nice and heavy as usual. Plenty of colour. Well, I'll have a go with the old card. Then I'll somehow I'll put some some sea boiling sea in there. Right, card. So we've got lots of coming down here. So this gives the shape of the of the bank along here. to work quite quickly on this. And when it's, if the paper's a bit dry, just, just re-wet it a bit. Save us a lot of time. You, if you want to paint these, you can, but, but it's going to take a long time. Now let's just, just add a bit of license here. some shadow in there. Right, now we want to do a bit of text, a bit of detail on that house. Um, I want to paint the uh, the chimney. That's a sort of yellow yoku sort of colour. So the light is coming from, really I think it's coming from the right hand side because that's a light yellow on the chimney there. And it's a darker colour on the other side. Hardly shows me, does it? But anyway. I'll put a bit of dark around there. Yes, I'll do that now. I'll find an appropriate brush. 
Right, so blue, blue, blue. Bit of blue, bit of sienna, burnt sienna, bit of lemon yellow. Oh, this is just... Bit of counter change. Freddy, Freddy screen, that's a bit better. You, you can do this sort of thing, lighter against dark. I will just add a little bit there. Let's just put it onto that bank there, I think. Okay. Now, uh, we got some, the, the uh, hmm, sure about this. So I, I, the, you're looking from right to left into these windows. So we'll leave a, we'll try and leave a white margin on the side there. Just make sure you have any, any paint in your, Finger where you're resting. Uh, same here. Although the white it's not showing, I've covered it up a bit. But I don't want these to be too exact. A bit of a bit of looseness. Now we've got the uh, drain pipe. I will put in a little bit of a and there, we'll show a bit there. And just a tiny bit of on there. Right, okay, so that, I've got to strengthen up around there, I think. Now let's just have a go this uh, water. Uh, right, okay, we've got we've got some yellow some yellow in there. We just clean my pad as a bit there. This is really stretching me, that house. I don't like to do houses that are so exact. So I have to try to rough it up a little bit. It's looking a bit too clean compared to the rest of the landscape. It's not part of it. Freddie, you leave my brushes alone. Uh, I know well, just a bit of yellow. Freddy, don't drink the water. Freddy is a pussycat if you don't know. The fast growing kitten, I'll just show you. Oh, he's, he enjoys my water. Say hello, Fred. Freddy. Right, okay. So a bit of, bit of, uh, bit of yellow to show the colour, the reflecting in. In the water. Ah, it's okay. Uh, just 
and try a bit. I'll give that a bit of a draw, I think, in which case Freddy might vanish. Take your headphones off. <laughs> when you're working from a photograph or reference material and the light's not very good in the photograph, See, the first thing you've got to do is, is to simplify. How simple can you make it? Uh, what can you leave out? How can you show complicated things in an easy way? But that's complicated in itself. <clears throat> so that's, that's what, I've, what I've done. And also, when the objects that are, like this wall along here, you don't really know what it is or how to paint it, just put it in, just put in what you see. Don't try and name it. Once you start to name things, you start to put your own idea in as to what you're looking at, not what you're actually looking at. Right, so now we've, we've got some dry brush to do on this water, so a bit of, and the sea was quite light, so it's just a bit of, a bit of, Burnt sienna with with Payne's grey. Uh, Dan mentioned something about Davies grey. I've never heard of Davies grey. One painting he didn't particularly like, but I hadn't heard of Payne uh, of Davies grey. Payne's grey, I've heard of. Uh, right, that's uh, a little bit darker. I can always try a rig over that, I think. Because we, we, we've got the, the, the water, the broken water, just reflecting the, the sky above. So I'm just bodging this. Going to nothing other than the, the horizon. It's the best I can do, really. If it was a critic, I might stand a chance, but... Okay, so... I'm going to put a bit of bit of rough roughing up on the uh, on here, on the wall. Some weathering. And same on the on the front wall. And same on the roof. Try and do that the way the tiles go. Oh, well, that's, that's roughed up sufficiently, I reckon. Right. Uh, else I can see on. Give it a signature and put, a, put the blue mounts on it. Okay, Andy, I hope you like this one. It's my effort on it. Uh, no birds, so I think this is a bit too fierce for birds, the weather. Deserted house, I suppose it's a deserted house, I don't know. On, North, I think it's North Beach, Arklow, County Arklow, Arklow, Ireland. The Emerald Isle. 
the, I must have touched the, the paper there and it was with my finger. Anyway, let's uh, let's straighten it up a little bit. See if we can get a more full on view. Right, I'll zoom in. We can see what we've made of the cliffs. Very sort of rough. See the, the tones on the on the cliffs going back are all very similar. So you have to introduce the blues to stretch it back and make it look distant. It's an optical or it's an illusion. Because that's what we are. We create illusions of depth. You see, there's my bank there. It was easy. Once I started to scrape, I could scrape the, the shape of it. I could have put some more fuzzy stuff going up in that building. But there we are. That's, that's my version of, of uh, Andy's Bit of Ireland. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.